Hi friends, Simit here from InformTrades.com. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about my personal trading routine. And the reason I mention this is, you know, we've talked a good bit about lifestyle and trading and making sure that trading fits into your lifestyle. Uh, I think sharing my routine is just uh, builds upon that is, is an example. I think if you have a routine and you know what kind of routine you have, it adds uh, structure to your approach to trading which can enable you to be a consistent trader and can also prevent you from, from burning out. Uh, I think routine is really important and there's a tendency to focus uh, quite a bit on you know when to enter and when to exit and that obviously is uh, an essential part of trading or mastering that or, or having a good strategy for that is essential. But, but if you don't have it the right routine and you're not able to integrate that strategy into your lifestyle then it, it sort of doesn't make a difference. So I just thought I'd share my routine as a, uh, as a way of an example to illustrate. Uh, first, I start off by waking up 6 a.m. I'm in uh, Chicago, so it's uh, 6 a.m. Chicago Standard Time or Central Standard Time, excuse me. Uh, that's about 7 Eastern Time, and I think that would make it noon uh, GMT. As soon as I wake up, I will do two things. Well, one, I'll head to the bathroom and and freshen up. While I'm doing that, I have my uh, smartphone and can check my account. So I can see account positions, uh, you know, what happened overnight while I was sleeping. And that sort of is the first step I take. Uh, then I pour my, uh, my morning vitamin mineral mix that helps me wake up. Uh, I don't drink too much coffee, but I'll have, I might have some later in the day depending on how much sleep I got or what's going on. Uh, the vitamin mix is sort of my way of freshening my mind and getting ready for, for everything that I have on slate for the day, including trading. Then I'll head to my computer and look at charts. And by this time, it might be close to 7 a.m. Um, Central Standard Time. Uh, and, I, and then I'll begin to you know, look at charts, look at my account, and really start thinking, do I need to move my, any of my positions? Do I need to move my stop further up to break even? Is there an entry order I want to put on? Things like that. that those are basically the two points I'll be looking at. Do I need to move my stop to break even uh, or do I need to put on a new entry order? Uh, so that's, that's basically what I'm looking for and from there every four hours I'll need to monitor. I am trading on the four hour time frame primarily. After that every four hours I will need to monitor the charts. Admittedly sometimes you know if life can interfere with that. Uh, I do have an alarm set up on my phone where it notifies me every four hours. Uh, in, in the event that I'm in the middle of something. Uh, and sometimes, of course, you know, life does, like I mentioned, uh, get in the way, and it's not always possible. That is something I'm working on. I, I have missed opportunities that way. But in general, I'm trying to look at every four hours, I want to see the new candle that's formed, and that's going to tell me if I need to move my stop or if I need to put on an entry order. Uh, and of course, you know, while every four hours is where I definitely need to look because that's when the candle is completed, I am sort of monitoring positions throughout the day on my smartphone. That probably is actually a bad habit. It probably just introduces emotional stress without really, you know, any upside. I'm not really going to take any action uh, until the candle closes. So it's just, there's no real point. I guess it's just a habit at this point. It might be something that I look to, to cut out. In terms of news, my approach to trading is to you know the the news I'm looking at is very big picture very broad so I'm going to have the same outlook for years at a time however with that said it is still important to monitor the news to make sure that I'm confident in my outlook uh, and I will do that just by reading news casually throughout the day I use an RSS reader it's called netvibes.com and whenever I have a chance I look at it these days I'm mainly using one monitor setup you know so I'm, I'm since I'm looking at charts every four hours uh, sometimes I'm mobile and I just need to do it on my phone. That's not preferred. I prefer to look at a, you know, a laptop, bigger screen and can sit down a little bit. Um, and that might be at home, at an office. Usually it's just one laptop, so all I need one screen and then I'm set. Uh, that's about it. That's the basics of my trading routine. If you have any questions, anything you want to add, want to share your trading routine, join us at informedtrades.com. Thanks and best of luck in your trading.